YouTube. My name is Mesa Sean, and we are back here on Destiny 2 Forsaken. Okay, folks, in this video, we've got some new information regarding Tier 10 Masterwork weapons that drop with static perks that you cannot change. And it looks like throughout various activities, including the raid, you can get your hands on these weapons. They can drop from Gambit and also various activities, and we've got a number of examples. Now, a week ago, I reviewed the Nation of the Beasts hand cannon, which comes from the raid. One of my subscribers let me use his account, and he had gotten this from glitching into the raid chest. Now, I had a theory in that video. Now, I showed off that this hand cannon that he had had explosive payload and ambitious assassin. However, a number of people who also did the glitch, they tweeted me pictures of theirs, and they had had different perks. So my theory was that these were not the real raid weapons because if you could just go in and get random rolls every week, um, I was hoping on that the raid would drop some god rolls that are either specific to the raid or god rolled. And it looks like I was right in my theory. So Timesplitter01 on Twitter sent me a thread over on Reddit from I Have Toes. He is one of Math Class, that's one of Datto's uh, clan members. And he got this redonkulous roll where it dropped Tier 10 Masterwork and it came with Dragonfly and Outlaw and it had set perks. You couldn't change anything. This is basically the fate bringer of Destiny 2. Now he provided some more examples, like here's another Tier 10 raid weapon that he got called the Age Old Bond. So this is an auto rifle that fires 360 rounds per minute. Now you can see he got it dropped as a tier 10 masterwork and none of the perks you can change. This one's got Rampage on it, but it also has a new perk called Fourth Times the Charm, where rapidly landing crits is going to return two rounds to the magazine. We've never seen that perk on an auto rifle before. Now, I am Toes and Riddit provided one other example too, a tier 10 scout rifle called the Transfiguration. And we could see it's got explosive payload and also outlaw on it. Now, this looks like it can apply to other activities within the game where you get a tier 10 masterwork with fixed bungee curated perks. Time Splitter linked me this tweet from Miss 5000 Watts where she was like, what the heck? She's like, I got this tier 10 Twilight Oath and you can see clearly that you cannot change the perks, but it looks like it's got snapshot sights, box breathing, and that would be a really, really good role for that energy sniper rifle. Now this applies to other activities like Gambit for instance. If you reset your infamy, it looks like you get a curated bungee loadout on a trust that's tier 10 masterwork. Same thing if you reset it twice, we saw this over on Reddit, that you get a god roll omens. That's a rocket launcher that you get tracking and cluster bombs with. So going down the rabbit hole with this whole thing, it looks like in the raid and probably other activities, for a particular weapon, there will be three different types. So L2 Matador over on Reddit, he describes in the raid there are three types. One is going to be non-powerful, and that will come from a raid chest in the transition area. Then there's powerful. These will be five to plus seven of your current power level. Then there's the super powerful, and you get 10 to 12 above your current power level, fully masterworked, and god rolled. And he provided some examples of this. He said, the age old bond is a void auto rifle. I have the super powerful version, fully masterworked with fourth times a charm. Four precision hits return two rounds, like triple tap on steroids, and it has rampage. He says, I was 555 power level, and it dropped at 566. He said, another player who had a similar super powerful drop also got the same rolls. He also mentioned that a few other people in his fire team got similar weapons, but they were powerful, meaning they had different perks, and they were about five to seven above their power level. So it looks like within Gambit, within the raid, and probably other activities, when you reset your ranking, or do the raid, you have a chance of getting one of these god roll bungee curated weapons, which will be one, a lot more powerful than your current power level, will be masterworked at tier 10 and have set perks but are god roll perks. So this is really exciting stuff guys, because think about it, all the different activities that you do in the game, you're either A, trying to get yourself a god roll, two, you're trying to get your power level up, and three, now you have something to chase, a tier 10 god roll that will be much higher in power than what you you are. Now, Iron Banner is going to be back next week. Unfortunately, they will have static rolls. And looking through the database at some of the weapons, they don't look like they have god rolls. Cosmo did confirm over on Reddit that there will not be random rolls for the Iron Banner weapons. They will have static rolls. So that is it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think, as usual, in the comment section. Please leave me a like in this video if you found it enjoyable. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end to become legend. And that's it, guys. Do me a favor. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter, at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually and always on YouTube, and that is it. I am out of here like Vladimir.